okay so in this video we'll have another example on population growth problems no? so we are still on our topic on the applications of first order differential equations so we have here the problem no? so the bureau of census recorded in 1980 shows that the population in the county doubles compared to that of 1960 in what year will the population triples assuming that the rate of increase in the population is proportional to the population okay so we have here our solution for this one so at first we will write our equation so ln t is equal to 3t plus ln c no? So at t is equal to 0, so that is at 1960. No? So our t is equal to p sub 0. No? So the equation ln t is equal to kt plus ln c. So we need to substitute the given. So we have ln t sub 0 is equal to k times 0 plus ln c. So this will be equal to 0. So we now have LNPO is equal to LNC. Okay? So this is, uh, let's say this is on 1960. Okay, okay so on 1980, so the our T for that one, okay, so our T for that one is 20 years, not 20 years, because uh, 1980 minus 1960 is 20 years. So our P is now double, so double of the initial, so double of our 2, of our P sub O, so that will be 2P sub O, no? Okay, so we have this one as ln P is equal to KT plus ln C, no? So substituting, so we have ln 2PO, okay, is equal to K times 20, plus the value of ln e or ln c is ln po so this is ln po so you have ln 2 po minus ln po so we are going to transpose this one to the other side of the equation so we have 20k so using the property of logarithm so that will be ln po over ln 2 po over po so this will be 20k so cancel that one out so we have ln2 is equal to 20k now solving for k so we just divide both sides by 20 so we could now have the value of our k as ln2 over 20 now the next question is in what year no? in what year will the population um, population triples no so for example we are looking here for the year no so we're in the population three post that of the original so that will be three po so we're going to solve for t no okay because the year here will be um just be added no? added to 1960 so this will be 19 60 plus t so we need to find first our t so at t is equal to uh, no, it is already given here no? so we just write the equation so ln t is equal to kt plus ln c so our ln t is 3po our k is uh, ln2 no? ln2 over 20 so that is ln2 over 20 times t plus lnpo so we have already solved the value of our uh, lnc you know in the first condition okay next so we transpose this one to the other side of the equation so we have ln3po minus lnp sub o is equal to ln2 over 20 times t this will be equal to ln 3po over 
VO is equal to LN2 over 20 times T. Now solving for T, so we just multiply both sides by 20 over LN2. So we left with, um, this will be so cancelled out, so we left with LN3. So 20 LN3 over LN2. So for the other side of the equation, that will be cancelled out, no? So I just write this one in Julie here. Now this is LN2. Okay. And this is equal to T. No? So using our calculator, so we can now solve for our T. No? So we have 20 LN3 over ln2 okay so that will be equal to 31.7 no? so 31.7 so our t is equal to 31.7 years now solving for the exact year so from the formula here above okay so that will be the year will be 1960 plus the number of years or the t that is 31.7 so that will be uh, 1991 no 1991 uh, and that will be the year is 1991 but we have a 0.7 so if we are going to have uh, the 0.7 in month months a so 0.7 times 12 so that will be 8 no? so 99 1991 and the, uh, the remaining will be the exact no the exact month will be August no 1991 and the exact month will be August no or we could have that one as August of 1991 so and this will be our answer okay so that is how we're going to solve this problem so I hope you understand something this video and as always, enjoy learning.